Right, so probably like thousands of other people uh, in the UK, we use the Royal Mail click and drop uh, service with a business account to send out all of the repairs and spares and everything else we do. Um, these Abcon scales we've been using for oh, absolutely years, uh, but there's always been this daft problem with them. It's got a hold button, so if you press hold and put something down on it, it will, oh, it's just going to hold the reading. Well, let me show you the issue. You put something on there, you might need to do something else for a few seconds, and it's, it's automatically held that number, which I don't want, and you've got to constantly keep pressing zero. Just recently, this has been flickering around, you know, uh, doing weird things. 5, 10, 15, 20 grams, it goes up and down all on its own, no particular reason. Um, so we've never been able to get rid of that, unless you do it really quickly. And also, there seems to be no way to integrate any kind of scale into click and drop. It would be nice if you just pop something on there uh, and that figure was transferred to click and drop. Uh, but USB scales are, are very few and far between. So anyway, I've got to get rid of these because, <coughs> because of this constant flickering of the reed. So uh, what we have found eventually is a Dymo M10. And that is this. Unfortunately, that has been covered up by the Amazon sticker. But they're digital USB post scales, um, up to 10 kilos. We're going to keep the other ones that we had because uh, they go up to 40 kilos, which is occasionally uh, useful. Um, so, yeah, but these are a USB and it will uh, display the weight in two gram increments. Um, it would be nicer if that would be a one, but uh, it's not the end of the world. Um, runs on USB power from the computer or three AAA batteries. We've got hold and tar functions and you also get their, their scale software which is basically going to display whatever the weight is on the computer screen and uh, probably in a later video uh, I'm going to show you I hope a way to actually get that reading into uh, click and drop or any other uh, system that you might use but I just wanted to have a look at these very quickly not so much the scales that are the interest, it's the fact that they are USB scales. So we've got a USB uh, cable, we have the scales, there appears to be no software, oh, actually no, I think you probably just download it from their website. Strange that we've got a uh, mark on the side already that almost looks like a silver paint on there anyway usb in the back uh, four feet rubber ones we've got a battery compartment there but what i want to do is just plug them into the usb multiple languages you're going to have to go off to the website for the software. Just bring that camera down. Just quickly plug these into the USB hub that I've just installed on this computer. There is a protective tab there. Cable looks quite long. Which is handy. It's not got to go too far in my particular case, but that is a good long cable. So, uh, gosh, yeah, that I mean, that must be must be a ten foot long cable. Excellent. I was not expecting that. So I'm just going to plug that in to there, and we'll just grab the other end and pop it into the USB hub. But you can see that. Okay, there 
there we go. So I'm hoping that it will not hold the reading. For whatever length of time I put it on there, I do not want that reading held. And it doesn't, so that's perfect. If you press the hold button, what happens? Okay, so oh, that's interesting, the blue light's flashing up. Is that just holding that figure? Oh yeah, see, after a few seconds, that hold light stops flashing and uh, it holds that last figure. So that's perfect if you ever need that. And you can turn that off again. And we're back to normal where it will not hold that figure. That's perfect, that's exactly what we wanted. And it looks like we are on grams, so that is perfect. Right, so the next part of this video, uh, I think uh, we will uh, just switch over to the PC. I'll download the software and uh, just install it and uh, We'll see what that actually does on the PC. Um, but the scales look absolutely fine. Interesting, the blue flashing light. They start up really quickly. The uh, old Abcon ones, when you turn them on, and they click down through, you know, nine, eight, seven, six. And that's a pain in the backside as well. Where this is on one, so, I mean, it's ready to go in about a second. Very quick to read and zero far better than the uh, the other one. Yeah, I think you've got to press and hold. As soon as that blue light flashes and the hold flashes, you are good to go. Give it a couple of seconds and that figure is held and then you can remove the package and just press the hold and it zeroes. So that is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. So we're off to a good start. Now we'll swap over to the uh, computer screen and we will grab the software. Okay, so uh, this didn't quite go to plan. Um, so I installed the Dymo scale software and uh, all it would do was just flash up the, this outer box and then close. Um, and I went through loads of stuff to try and get this to work. Uh, in the end I had to reset the PC uh, completely uh, but kept my files. Uh, so I've now got to install the few programs that I actually run uh, on, uh, on this particular PC. So this now works uh, if we put something on the scales. Uh, it is awesome. Oh, I haven't clicked read yet, I've just turned that on. So. Once you've uh, clicked red, uh, it will stay. If you want to, you can leave it on read scale continuously. And if I take that part off, you can see it's gone. And if I put it back on, it will weigh it again. But there is an issue. This has got an auto power off that you cannot override. So <laughs> we're going to have to, um, you know, every time it goes off, it won't affect me. Um, when I'm doing a whole load of posts in one go, but it will certainly affect me between repairs as I post each repair out. You know, that might be a 20, 30 minute gap between them. The only thing I can say is at least it is a real quick start. Um, but do you then have to, you know, you see you then have to click on read the weight. Uh, so it's not ideal. So I found another utility if we just close this down. I'll leave the links to these uh, bits of software. But I found something called the Dymo Scale Utility. And uh, that's all it is. And uh, it will display the weight. I don't know whether you can see that against that black. Yeah, there you can. So if we just click on Auto Copy to Clipboard. And uh, now if we put anything on there you'll see it's transferred it to there immediately and off again and back on. But if we go down, I don't know where I can, if I just do a control V in the search bar, you'll see that the weight is immediately available on the paste option. That's probably the quickest way I'm gonna be able to paste weights into 
the system I wanted to do. Now the only other thing is if this powers off, uh, let's put it on 24 and let me power that off. The main problem would be now is, and let's take that off and I've wrapped that up and then we come back in an hour's time when I um, turn the power on, is that going to update? Yes, perfect. So that is actively reading that USB uh, device uh, all of the time. So that is excellent. Far better than the rubbish from uh, Dymo. And the fact that they've got an, uh, an un overridable uh, time off function when it's on USB is just stupid. I understand that on um, battery power, but if it's plugged into the USB, why the hell do you want it to go off after? I think it was said three minutes. It's just that stupid to have that uh, non-overridable. But this has solved my problem. Um, I can just control V uh, into uh, Royal Mail, click and drop, and it will. That's stored. Control V, job done. I don't even have to look at the scales. I can just Control V all the time, and uh, that will be perfect.